just recently, our next guest moved an entire nation when he won a Golden Globe Award for Don King Only in America. He can soon be seen with the rest of today's guests in Out of Sight. Take a look. Do you realize what you're doing, Jack? Worrying about a woman who works for law enforcement? You want to sit down and have cocktails with a woman who tried to shoot you. Do you hear what I'm saying? I think this old guy right there is your boyfriend. It's the only picture she has on you. Am I going to Detroit by myself? No. Jack, the longer we stay here, the better chance is that either Glenn is going to screw up the score or we're going to get busted or both. Please welcome back to the show, Ving Ring! <laughs> Thank you. Good being here. Can I just say, you had me crying watching the Golden Globes. Well, I believe in divine intervention, and I have to give the praise and glory to God, because if it was up to me, I probably would have kept it. Yeah. But God laid it on my heart to give it to Mr. Jack Lemmon. Do you know, it was not only... It wasn't only the moment when you gave it to him, but when you... Were, well, we have a clip of you walking through that ballroom, and, like, the way you're swaggering and crying, you killed me. We have a clip. Yeah. You want to see it? I hope I don't cry, yeah. I'm going to cry. It's so adorable. Watch this. And the winner is... Big Rains! The King! All in America! I feel that being an artist is about giving, and I'd like to give this to you, Mr. Jack Lemmon. Sure. 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 You got me all choked up from that. It was amazing to watch. You know what happened for me? It was almost like my whole career, the struggles, the auditions, kind of flashed through me. Right. And you know, the, the emotion just came out organically. So, you know, I'm, I'm proud of that film. I'm proud of this film, and uh, I thank God it's been a wonderful year. Yeah, you're very good in this film. I had a lot of fun. Did you? And yeah, uh, I don't. I don't get to play too many guys named Buddy. Yeah. So uh, yeah. You know, yeah. I haven't been cast that way in Hollywood for some reason. Yo, Buddy. Uh, so no. So it was a it was a good time, and um, I really think, and I said this to George backstage, I think it's the most mature work that his audience will see from George. I mean, I was very. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to take that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's a delightful movie. And originally, the part of the best friend was supposed to be like a blonde hair, blue eyed guy. Well, I'm a very versatile actor. Of course you are! <laughs> yeah, <right>. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, and they read, you read the script and said, I want to go in for that role? Yeah, I read the script, but quite honestly, I was more attracted to working with the ensemble of actors right. than the script. Yeah. Um, I believe that some actors have a good natural chemistry with each other, and I think we captured that with this ensemble. Yeah, you definitely did. Can I just say, you look very trim. Thank God for Sugar Ray Leonard and <laughs> my uh, dietitian and fitness trainer, Mr. Daryl Foster, who's here today. Um, I'm training to do the Sonny Liston story. No, I do not know who Sonny Liston is. Pardon my uh, English. Uh, who is Sonny Liston? Uh, well, he, he's most known for being the man that Muhammad Ali at age 21 beat for the World Heavyweight oh. Championship. So you're going to play a boxer? Yes. And so you got to trim down for that? We've been running at 5 a.m. on the beach in Santa Monica. Then I eat some oatmeal and two egg whites. Uh, I get to sleep for a couple of hours and then I jump rope, speed bag, heavy bag, um, ring work, double end bag, so it's naturally, you know, just coming off. Yeah, I they suppose I could interest you in a White Castle slider. <laughs> George. I'm the designated White Castle leader. <laughs> <laughs> is it tough for you? Have you always uh, dieted or is this the first sort of... Well, it's kind of tough when you have a madman like Daryl Foster saying to you, you have to do this. Right. You know, it was easy. You know, I cheated when I was on my own, but now having someone who's strict, um, it's really helped. And I think that I owe it to Sonny Liston, who's no longer with us, um, to give my heart, my soul, a as much as I can to fulfill his life on film. Yeah, was he very, uh, very buff or was, because, you know, uh, weren't, isn't that heavyweight Muhammad yeah. Ali? Yeah, but see, he was buff for back then when yeah. boxers really didn't do much weight training. He was 6'1", around 210, 215 pounds. Right. 
And you are? I'm six feet right now, 208. Ah, so you're right in there. Yes. So have a burger. Come on. <laughs> I don't partake in consuming animal flesh. Oh, you don't? No. Thank you. Wait a minute. He won't drink either. He That's don't. True. That's true. Bean sprouts on a bun. <laughs> Bean sprouts. No, 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 I told him no, to make no, vegetarian. No, well, there you go. No, That's for you. How to eat to live. Yeah, just a... Uh, Jennifer. Thank you. Bean sprout. Just uh, a couple weeds. George. I'd just rather have needles stuck in my eyes. Yeah. George and I will have a slider at this commercial. And when we come back, Steve's on, also in the film, and a wonderful movie it is. We'll be right back after this.